No, they. We came home. I kidnapped Christina and brought her home. And this is the first time I'm really hanging out on the internet. So I'm like, what is going on? Well, to make a long story short, I went live yesterday and, um, oh, that Tammy, I'm Tammy. Close, but I'm not that important. Go figure. Um, I'm going to get my charger. I went um, live yesterday and there was somebody that was in my feed, kind of like how your feeds get. And somebody had been saying something about somebody. And anyway, they were addressing what they said. And um, I was like, okay, just listening. And I said, well, the other person can get in the box if you'd like to come in the box. They said, no, they didn't. Okay. Well, D showed up over there. And um, anyway, you know how people have their own opinions. Um, yeah, of course. Of D, you know? I've always said D's D. You know, I don't always agree with what he says or, or what he does, but hey, that's him. Well, I didn't think nothing else about it. I got up this morning and I had a message from him that said um, that he was blocking me because I should have took up for him. Okay. Um. People calling him a racist by the things that he says. How can I take up for him? So anyway, I didn't. I didn't even get into it with him, Don. I just said I hate to hear that. Um, I hope you and um, you and Cal take care. That's all I said. Right. Well, I went live this afternoon. He shows back up in the live. He's defending himself and saying some things and. He wants to get in my box. Well, let him in my box. And I'm explaining to him. Hey, Foxy. How the things that he says, I don't agree with. Um, and I explained to him why I feel that way. I told him that I had a mixed grandbaby and that, um, you know, that I've never said anything to him because he had not been in my life. Or I had not been in his where I felt like it was offending me for me to speak up and say, hey, that offends me. Um, I try to stay mutual. I said, but I said, I don't agree with it. Well, when I said that, this is what he did. Can't help that they're porch monkeys. I needed to get used to it. And he X'd himself out of my box. Wait, 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 back up. Was he talking about your backup? Was he talking about your grandchildren? I guess that's exactly who he was talking about, which she was live on the phone with Jason over there. You can hear, you know, she, we've been, I've been telling her I loved her back and forth or whatever. And his last comment was, before he asked himself out of my box, was something about porch monkeys and I just needed to get used to it. And I said, and he was gone. And I said, so, okay, this is where it's at now. I'm not giving him any of my views. I'm never going to be called in his life. And he will never have the opportunity to get in my box again. And if he comes into one of my lives, he best be quiet. Because if I know he's in there, I will block him. That's how I'll handle that. Um, wow. Okay, uh, I, well, my, my, you see, my situation here, um, it's a weird, awkward situation, but I have I have had people try to get me to take this side or that side in different situations, and I have hit a point where, of course, I completely understand where you're coming from. I know my nephews are mixed. I mean, I think at this at this day and age, I think we all have uh, people, loved ones, family, friends, whatever that are mixed. I think race is just. A non-issue. Um, I don't. I will tell you my honest opinion about D. Here's my honest opinion. I do not believe D is actually racist. I believe D throws comments around that are racial. That's just my opinion. Um, I, I don't think D cares what color a person is, but I think he uses that as a. Um, as a hurtful insult, as a hurtful insult, um, right. just the way, just the way I've seen black people refer to themselves as that because it's hurtful. They have a class of 
uh, of like even within their own race, how dark you are. They, they they pick on that. They criticize that. I think that like I've seen even in the homosexual community, they call each other the f words, and, and so I see a lot of racial homophobic, um, just totally shitty comments go back and forth all around the place. So I don't honestly believe that he is racial. I don't believe he's racist. I believe he's willing to use racist comments to piss people off and create controversy. Um, That's my opinion. Miss Withers, all I'm going to say about it is this. No one, no one on this internet influences how I feel or thinks for me. What I am going to say, though, just hanging out and Miss Withers, was I was very respectful and I was telling him that I had a mixed bread baby and I was telling him how I don't get involved because he's never been somewhere where it bothers me. And I will say this, for him to say what he said when I was being nothing but nice and then X himself out of my box, that disrespected me and my platform. Absolutely. And being done with him was because of the disrespect. I absolutely agree with you. Hey, Jezebel, I completely agree with what you're saying, Tammy. Abs- no, I mean, I back you up there. Well, you I know, back- I, don't, I don't let nobody influence me. But what right. he did to me and x himself out showed me the respect he had for me. Oh, I completely, completely, 100% understand exactly what you're saying. I agree with what you're saying. Um, I'm just saying, if somebody asks me what my honest opinion is about D, he's right. a drama streamer. He is a drama. I think it's funny because I was talking to my husband about D when we were driving to go out to dinner tonight. And I was saying, you know, I, I personally find a lot of shit he says funny. I find a lot of shit he says can be offensive, but I don't let it offend me because you have to right. consider the source. So the way I look at D is D. And once you understand D, I think I think it's easier for people. And I'm talking about me in general. Is number one, D is a drama streamer. Number two, D will create drama, involve himself in drama, stir drama. Because he is a drama streamer. D will do anything to get views and and um, views and attention. And that's part of who he is. He's a drama streamer. D is a snake. But that all said, I'm going to be honest. I enjoy watching him sometimes because it's kind of like Chris Hahn. You watch, and I'm not saying, I'm not comparing D to Chris Hahn. But I'm saying we know what Chris on is. What you see is what you get. And we all still watch him because we're intrigued by it. With D, if D is a snake, D is a drama streamer, we know what he is. If you expect more from him, you're going to be disappointed. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be fighting. I don't right. expect any more from D. Understand where I, how, you know, that's how I view D. Right. He's a drama streamer. Don't expect the same moral codes or the same behaviors as you and I would have. And once you understand what he is, I find it to be like, you know, he is what he is. Good, bad, or ugly, he is who he is. I'm not saying anybody has to like him, has to approve of him. I'm not defending him. But at the same time, he just is what he is, you know? You know, anybody can say what they want to. Um, They can say... Just like they're saying, no, they didn't call your grandbaby that. Honestly, none of that matters to me. I made my decision to be done because you're going to say something, regardless of who you're referring it to. You said it. You said the words monkeys after I just told you that I didn't care because you had not said anything on my platform or where I had been. And you, you chose to use them words and tell me to get used to it and X out. No, I'm not saying, guys, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I I don't, I I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here. I'm not saying that what he said is an excuse to behave that way. No, no, these people in here are trying to clarify that he didn't say that about my granddaughter. And I'm trying to let them know. Even if he didn't say, even if he didn't say it about her granddaughter, 
She's offended by the fact he said it, period, about anybody. She's offended by the fact of how he exited the video. I get that. And I wouldn't tell anyone how they're supposed to react to D. Everyone can react to D any way that they want. Um, but I, I guess... He can bash, he can trash, he can make memes, he can do whatever. That's not me, I'm not going to do it. My attitude is there's no side to take here. That's like saying, do I take the side of Chris Hahn or you? I mean, like, I, of course I respect and like Tammy and I'm friends with Tammy. And I mean, Tammy's my friend. Dee's never been my friend. Um, I just know how to handle and how to view Dee. And... Um, do you know what I'm saying? I'm not telling. I'm not. I'm not. And I know how to handle D too, and that's not giving him any ounce of my time. So I will. You won't catch me over there watching his stuff. I don't care if he bashes and trashes me. I won't stoop to his level. And if he shows up in my life, that's all great as long as he's quiet. And I don't know he's there. If I do know he's there, I'll next him out. I've got nothing to do with him. I'm done, and I'm. Now, if he, he's not going to get any clout off me. He thinks I'm going to go live. Sasha, you're fine. Sasha, you're fine. You're welcome here, Sasha. I just don't want to fight with you, but you're welcome here. If you could tell, I'm not really, I'm not looking to fight with anybody. I'm, I'm yeah. actually trying to, it, it's not fence riding, but what I'm trying to do is just not involve myself in the drama too much because I'm always going to piss one group or another off and I'm just kind of tired of it. No, so I just want you to know it's okay. I, I mean, I've done what I needed to do. I've made my decision about D with my own brain and thinking. Nobody's influence, and I'm just done. And I refuse not to entertain him or be part of that anymore. And it's nothing anybody said. It's my own choice. Absolutely, I know. I've been exactly where you are. I've done the same thing. Um, I just um. I kind of just, I don't know, I, I coexist with D. You know, I'm just going to wait tonight because I have to watch it. Come in the box. No, I'm going uh, to do what I said because I have to realize I'm just Sasha, stop it. Don't be a baby. You can be in I'm my life. Just seeing Tammy was wondering how her dog is. I gave her advice and let's get doing wonderful, Sasha. How's your bird? How's Kiwi? I, um, I just, I'm not going to have anything to do with him anymore. And I will say this, he's blocked me, so, um, but that's okay. So far, so good. Great. Great. If he wants to come in your box and you find out about this other girl, I got to stop. I can come in and watch you. Well, anybody can tell me about this other girl. I, I, I mean, everybody saw what happened, I guess, right? I wasn't in there. I, don't, I didn't go in there, so I don't really know what happened. But I'm glad the bird is doing good, Sasha. Um, I didn't see what was going on, so maybe somebody else can fill you in, but I didn't go into D. Eh, I'll hear about it later. Honestly, I just don't really give two shits about all the drama for the most part. I'm kind of curious about it, but at the end of the day, I just want everyone to know that I am not Good. Uh, whoever that Donna is and Kay is. I don't know. I, I've never even heard of them until tonight. I'm Donna Kay, which is different. Yes, this Amanda girl, um, she's messaged me a few times. Not a big issue. Um, and I've, I've had her blocked for over a year. And then she just got unblocked. And then all this shit goes on. And I'm like, girl, I just don't have time for your drama. I just don't want... I, I just don't even don't know who she is. Shit. Yes, I'm glad his bird is coming along. Yeah. Glad your bird's doing good. But, you know. Oh, Tammy, I would do the exact same thing you do. I would. I mean. Yep. And I don't care. He can make memes. He can bash. He can trash. I don't care. I won't stick to his level. No, my thing with D is um, I just, uh, I steer clear of, of we just kind of steer clear of each other. I do my thing. He does his thing. I do watch him once in a while. I'm not going to lie. Um, truthfully, I think you watch your haters more than you watch your, your, the people you like. I mean, that's the truth. Jeff, Holmes, I never said 
he said that about my granddaughter. I said he made that comment and said, get used to it, and he etched himself out immediately. I said I made my decision because I had just been honest with him, telling him, and for him to do that, that was disrespectful to me, and to X out like that shows the respect that he had for me. So I'm done. That's what well, like I said. Up. I don't care if it was against anybody, if he meant it towards anybody. None of that shit matters to me. How he disrespected me and said what he said and X out of it is what matters to me. That's the thing, too, that people on the Internet need to understand. Everyone has a different threshold. Everyone has a different tolerance level. And you don't have to excuse or explain or nobody else has to understand you what you do, but you. You don't owe anyone an explanation for how you feel. That's something I'm tired of is people like, well, why don't you like this? Or why don't you like the C word being used? You know what? I don't owe anyone an explanation. I just don't like it being used. Have I ever used that word? Yes. But I don't like hearing it on the regular. I find it disrespectful. Um, you know, and for you, I, totally. You, you know, you don't owe anyone an explanation for how you want to react. Well, you know, I never said, called my granddaddy that. Um, but to even say that, or continue to say any of the words after I told him what I told him is enough for me to say the hell with this. Right. In other words, the way you the way you feel is you disclosed something to him and he still showed the same level of disrespect and then exited your box in a disrespectful manner. So yeah. the bottom line is you feel he disrespected you and you don't want to be part of someone who disrespected you. It's that yeah. simple. No, I gave him the respect to come into my box to defend himself to what people were saying. Um, hey, Becca. He was giving me the same respect. Right. That, that's, that's the thing with me is, to me, if I, I'm going to... I try to respect people for the most part. There's some people I just don't have some respect for, and it's probably never going to have it. But for the most part, I try to be respectful with people. And, you know... There's a certain level of tolerance that, you know, at some point I'm like, I'm just done with you. But nobody gets to pick where my level is but me. Yeah, you know? and you know what? It really doesn't matter. And um, I'm not hurt about it. I could care less. I made my decision. At the end of the day, I'm still going to go to sleep, get up and eat and function on a daily basis. This Internet does not break me. Um, with that being said, I just choose not to be no part of that. I'm not going to be a part of someone who can throw jabs in any shape, form, or fashion, when they know that I truly don't... Okay, like I said, that's my platform. Just because he's somewhere else saying something, I don't feel I have the right to go and bash him or trash him for that. As long as it wasn't happening on my platform, I feel the no need of addressing it. And I so said what, that to him. Wait a minute. Sasha, are you thinking about being a vet? <clears throat> He needs to. That would be That's the great thing. That's what he should have been him. doing the whole time. Seriously. So I mean, why um, should so be a vet? I would have. I would have. Um, so anyway, and and it didn't matter. So that it doesn't matter. I'm done. Do what he's got to do. I'm gonna do what I need to do, and I wish him nothing but the best. <laughs> Sasha, as much as we fought and everything, I'm actually really happy to hear that. I'm thrilled to hear it. I think that is, I think you will get so much peace in your life by doing what you truly love. I think it will change your whole life. I think it's an awesome decision. Damn. The coconut oil does work. Coconut oil in the food. No, he said no coconut oil in the food. I think you rub the coconut oil on their skin. Tammy, I think you're going to have an island clap dog. <laughs> it's a non poultry based diet.
My sister's uh, nieces of that. Yeah, you do. You out the coconut oil in the food. Out the coconut oil in the food? What does that mean? Look, I'm just my limit today. What's that mean? 